those cleaning techniques on the solar alpha rotary joint while Ron Guerin has moved on to some get ahead task. Uh, first SLRs in the bag. Okay. Copy. Understand you're going for number two. Yep. Okay, I did a photo, kind of a photo survey of that whole area of exposed uh, outboard outer cannon surface. Ooh, I got it right. And uh, they'll dump that last wipe in the bag, grab another one, and I'll uh, apply a little more material and we'll uh, wipe it down again. We'll scrape it and wipe it. Do it. Do it notice the difference. That's correct. Okay. Taking a look at the uh, surface now. I see no discernible difference between the areas. Uh, the two different techniques, I guess they both ended with scraping. And there's only a very slight trace of grease remaining. I think you're pretty much done with the DTO. Uh, we need closeout pictures, Do that. and then uh, we're going to uh, button up the cover. Got it. So view of the station arm where it's hooked to the Kibo module, getting it moved to its new home at the Harmony node. In the background, you can also see the tail end of the shuttle as it orbits about, with the space station, 214 miles above Kansas at the moment. Okay. Again, my point floor on the Nader outboard. Got it. move back up in it. And then I think what I'm going to do is head around and start looking those SLRs back down. Be faster. Yeah, Hawk, we concur with, with Ron's yeah, recommendation. Now, five hours and 42 minutes into the six and a half hour spacewalk. Awesome and Garen are wrapping up the last of their task and getting ready to start carrying tools and equipment back to the station's Quest airlock. You can see now in this view that the Kibo module has been moved all the way up to its new home in, on the Harmony node. Kibo module is along the right-hand side of the screen here, connected to the shuttle's robotic arm, which is also on top of the Harmony module. Houston from Alpha, this is the CBM operator calling the SSRMS operator who is right next to me. We are go for maneuver to RTL. And SSRMS operator copies, go for maneuver to RTL. Okay, we copy. And Houston Station for Robotics, just to confirm, did you give us a go for JPM missile? That's affirmative, Aki. You're a go for GPM install. Good luck. Copy that. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Dropping down to the hatch. Start putting away toys. Coming on with a few cards, Mike. All right. 
and CBM operator from you can see operator. Kibo is now on its final location as it stationed in shuttle or orbiting 213 miles above the island of Madagascar. It's a view of Mike Fossum getting ready to enter the Quest airlock to the end of the spacewalk. Also heard earlier the call from the teams on the ground that the station was go for the second stage capture that would mark the official installation of Kibo. We have not heard that that capture actually occurred yet. Okay, uh, I'm going to start trying to come in. Okay, um, I'm doing the best I can, but they're all over the place. I understand. You're gonna, your feet are going to hit some bags. Just kick them out of the way. Okay. Mike and Ron, it was a pleasure working with you guys today. Today was the 43rd anniversary of the U.S. first U.S. EBA conducted by uh, Ed White on Gemini 4. So I think it's appropriate that we had two Air Force guys up the door today in honor of Ed White. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Yeah, good job. And I've got PAO checking to see if Ed White's Capcom was a Navy guy. UDT. And Houston and Scuba from the station on the Big Loop. Uh, we have Abolt confirmed. Uh, congratulations, especially to Scuba. Uh, we have a new hope on the International Space Station. Fantastic job, Aki. Outstanding. Outstanding. 